Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for January 6, 2016. It's about 15 minutes before the bell. Just wanted to get this out pretty quick to you. Just to let you know, our live chat that we have on the Simpler Stocks premium side, we have from 7.30 to 9 in the morning. I usually, um, we just started it today and it worked great. Uh, I'm usually on from 8 to 8.20 talking live and between... Uh, between uh, 7.30 and 9, when I'm not talking, I'll answer questions via real-time uh, messaging with all the uh, clients in there. Just so you know, I thought probably five or ten people would show up because we had didn't really promote it yet because it's sort of in beta testing. We had over 200 people actively in it. So it's worked great. And like you know, there's a 30-day, $7 trial. You can always just sign up and see how you like it. But it seemed to go great. The feedback was really good. Um, just to let you know what today was all about was basically reacting and consolidating after yesterday's down move and little rally. Now, if the ES is closed right here, we're going to have a nice little doji right in this area. Now, let me show you why this is significant. So right now, we have the ES is down all of one. They're just sticking here. You have the NASDAQ down 23. Russell's sort of outperforming, only down 40 cents. You have the bonds, like I've warned, down 21. They're close to breaking down. You have the advanced decline a little up, and I'll go into that in a second. The thing that I think is holding up the market today is the transports and the Nikkei. Let me show you what I mean today. Is First, you have the ES is cons holding right at support. Now, there are two ways to look at this. One of them is it's forming this. It's forming a wedge. Now, it could either break up or it could break down. Uh, you can't tell yet. The key is, though, that if it starts, stays in this range a little longer and just goes up to here, you're going to get that to work off its complete oversold condition, now be overbought and still only resting at the 49 EMA. That would be a classic time to be shorting the market. Other thing to notice in here is how many indexes are similar. Look at the SPX. Now, first thing I want to mention before I forget, say so ES is yesterday on the close had this spectacular rally. Because of that, after 4 o'clock Eastern, this rally in here, the SPX couldn't catch up. So if the ES is looked overbought, but the SPX didn't, that's because the SPX was closed at 4. It had to take till this morning for it to kick in. So to show you on the left, we'll put the SPX on a, on a five minute and you'll see that it was down here and didn't do much. But then when the ES is opened down, it just hovered in here. Now, the reason this is important is look at the ES is on a 78 minute like I just showed you. You can't tell anything. Put the SPX on a 78 minute, though. And what you'll see in here is a nice old bear flag forming. And you're about to get overbought. That could be a really nasty sign for the next leg down. But you still can't tell yet because let me show you the two things that held up the market today. And if they keep going, they could provide some stability. Look at the Nikkei today. I want This is uh, the Japanese market. Like I said, traders these days are keen off the Nikkei. They didn't used to, but there are certain times, like I showed you on a daily, when you have this potential for a really big breakdown and this head and shoulders top, people are watching it closer than they were. Well, look at the Nikkei today on a five minute and look at the ES is on a five minute. What you'll notice in here is that the Nikkei refused to go down and actually made a higher low right here when the ESs were making a lower low. When it started going up, actually it formed that little doji there. When it started going up, the whole market had an underlying bid to it. That was one thing that helped. Other thing that helped was the transports. The transports one time were down over 60. If you look on here, they came back. They snapped right back at about noon. Why did they snap back? One of the reasons is air, airlines are going to start raising their, uh, uh, their tickets for the first time in months. So you see, they got plummeted. They plummeted and then had a massive rally back and then formed this sort of consolidation formation, which you can see on here where it held. And it, it went right here. And the second it got over that, it was on its way up. Now, not huge, but enough to stem the big decline in the transports. That's all I mean in there. Um, right now, the other thing I'm going to be watching in here 
is the bonds. If these bonds break any more, and, uh, uh, you know, if the bonds break any more in here, and let me link these so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about in here, is all day the bond, the long-term bonds have acted weak. If you put this on a weekly, and you put this on a uh, daily, and I'll show you a couple of other time frames also, but you see, not only is it forming a squeeze, which is normal when you get a tight consolidation, but also what you get in here is this bigger triangle on a weekly. And like I've mentioned a lot of times in here, if this starts breaking, it could be a big competitor to the overall market for money. Because for years now, we've been talking about how low yields, there's nowhere to put your money about the stock market. Like I said, if this breaks this 153 level, it quickly could go right here. Now, it's not really 153, it's 15118. I should know it by heart. Right in here, it goes quickly to 148.16. If it breaks this squeeze, it's going to break the squeeze on the weekly, and this could project a lot lower. This could project down to the 140, and that becomes a big deal. So you need to watch that. Another thing you're watching in here is the bonds slowly have this sell-off on the right, and we're not getting that oversold. All these other times you've had the spike down, you get way oversold. Not this time, and that could give you more ammunition to finally break down. So keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing, like I said, first thing I'm going to watch tomorrow is the Chinese market, the Nikkei, because everybody else is watching it. And I try to focus on whatever is, whatever traders are watching, that's what I'm going to watch. Other thing I'm watching in here is the SPX. And we want to see if this right here is going to create one of these overbought in a downtrend under the 49 EMA. Third thing I'm going to watch in here is the FANG stocks. You had Facebook acting pretty well today. You had LinkedIn acting pretty well. But what do you see on all of them? What is the theme in here is get it all the overbought. This one's right at its 49 on a 78 minute. And that's the whole key on this. Are they going to work off their overbots by blasting the new highs? Or are they just simply going to try to fill some of the gap before they roll back over? Give you an idea. Look at some of the other big ones. Look at Tesla. It's in the FANG stock, but just to get an idea. Look at this gap down here. That was a bad quote, that 231. Look at the gap down here and look how it's starting to get overbought. This is if you're bearish, exactly what you want to see is a gap, a consolidation, a weak rally to work off the oversold condition on the left. Look at this in Amazon, same thing. Look how this is trying to work off it's oversold and it's having a weak rally. What's happened every other time it's had an oversold? A spectacular rally up until this time. It's doing nothing. It's actually sitting near its low working off it's overbought. Same with Google. You get this in Google and you get this in Netflix. Check this out in here. Google rallying right to its 49 EMA, getting overbought. Let me show you one last one, then I'll let you go, is Netflix. This is what you want to see. You want to see a gap down. You want to see it work off its overbought with a feeble rally. If you're short, those are the type of things you look for. So I hope this helps. Like I said, I hope you get a chance to ch uh, check out the live chat. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you have a great night. Take care.